when we had last left the Spacefarer. They were tasked by Ryujin Industries to go and infiltrate Infinity LTD's lines of corporate defense once more, and within did they uncover Project Dominion, and it was on Sidonia that they uncover er, recovered the data slate that contained its interesting and intriguing secrets. Indeed, it turned out that upon closer examination and decryption of the slate, that what was within was none other than designs of Ryujin's own make. For now revealed to them all was that in their midst lie a mole. Now it was time to meet up with Dalton fin Finis, fi fi Finis, fi Finis, Finis, and perhaps flush the mole from their ranks. This is Starfield. Welcome back. Zoop, zoop, zoop. There we are. Let's head over here and meet with them. I think they're over here. Oh. If only there were more hours in the day. Yeah, if only. I hope you're minding yourself while on the job. Well, you know what? We may as well talk to you. Do you get a lot of lawsuits about neuroamps? Thanks to my predecessors, no. The user agreement for neuroamps is very clear. Oh. It stipulates that once activated, the user assumes complete responsibility for the hardware, its usage, and any risks that may come with using such a device. Huh. How's Jalen doing? Your guess is as good as mine. Jalen and I don't speak too often. It's always prompted by a special occasion or a tragic event of some sort. We aren't a close-knit family, unlike some who work here, and I'm under the impression we both prefer it that way. I'm surprised we haven't been able to ask about Tomo yet. What? what the wildest thing that would happen here is if the Tomo situation is completely irrelevant, right? If it really was just that and it's done. I imagine Ryujin keeps your department pretty busy. <laughs> busy is an understatement, but most of what we deal with is considered routine, so our workload is manageable. Okay, good talk. What's in here? Oh, right, this is the boardroom. Okay. I hate waiting. And we had talked with you. To doubt myself. Oh. <coughs> That's where we need to be. Don't wander into any restricted areas. Is this an elevator? Oh, it's a little bathroom. Wow, it's actually a gigantic one. Holy cow, how much room do you need for pooping? Goodness gracious, this is enormous. The, the great irony of it is, like, normally you build these to be wheelchair accessible or whatever, right? Like, if someone has, um, like, a manual or automatic wheelchair, right, there you want extra space so that way they can more easily get on and off. But even then, I think this makes it actually not wheelchair accessible, right? These walls here, these like dividers, I don't think you would be able to fit uh, like certain models probably in through here, huh? It's entirely possible. <laughs> right? Like this is, this is smaller than you see in contemporary wheelchair accessible like stalls, I believe. <laughs> also, check this out. Only way you're wiping your ass is if you're fucking Mr. Fantastic, baby. <laughs> Reed Richards is the only bot fucking guy wiping his ass in here. Look at how far away that fucking toilet paper is. Oh my god. Holy shit. Okay. Great. I also love the, the mirror right there so you can hopefully see your- Well, no, I think it's too high up, right? What a wild bathroom. Okay. Oh. You just have a globe here? I guess it's a coffee table. Anything else we should look at? No. Okay. What's up, you bald bastard? Good. You're here. I am. So, thanks to your work in Sidonia, I'm told someone here has leaked information on Project Dominion to our adversaries at Infinity LTD. A mole within the company means a failing in my department. 
We're initiating Security Directive Theta, which means a full sweep of every employee in this building, Masako and myself included. It doesn't look good for you. Don't worry, we're going to take care of it. Investigating yourselves, how's that trustworthy? Also, I feel like he doesn't look a thing like how he sounds, you know? I, f I feel like he sounds like he should be, I don't know, at least 20, maybe 15 years older than he appears here. Right? Dude should at least have, like, a full white, if not peppered, right? But I would, I would lean full, like, gray-white beard and eyebrows, right? And probably not even a beard, but, like, a overly elegant mustache. Okay. Investigating yourselves. How is that trustworthy? Directive Theta allows for a third party to conduct the sweep. This way, the results can be objective. Directive Theta? It doesn't look good for you. Don't worry, we're going to take care of it. Yeah, we're going to take care of it. We certainly are. Directive Theta has one unique case, and that's Ularu Chen. The Directive calls for a specialized programmer known as Nix to investigate her. But he'll need your assistance for an unusual assignment. I take it this Nix is a trustworthy source? Opening this investigation to a third party is too risky. Sounds to me like we need a better security team. Why is Ularu a special case? Yeah, why? Ularu has the ability to thwart any investigation, so it's imperative she knows nothing about this directive. Her knowledge and talents are why she's the chief of operations. So she is the best equipped to evade detection. Wow, this really is making it seem like it in the mole is Ularu. <laughs> right? Huh. Okay. Also, how do we know that this Nyx person, who we don't really know, isn't also, like, paid off? Okay. Huh. I take it this Nyx is a trustworthy source? We don't deal in trust here. Think more in terms of mutual benefit and leverage. And in this case, it's mutual benefit. Nix right, I mean, we'll be giving you a program same, to run same, on semantics. Ularu's computer that will pull any data needed to prove her guilty or innocent. Your job is to infiltrate Ryujin Tower as an anonymous outsider in order to run this program completely off the books. This oh. means your keycard will be turned off, and the security guards in the building will consider you to be trespassing. Wow, okay. I'm looking forward to infiltrating my own place of work. It sounds like you were risking the lives of your team. This seems excessive. The guards can't just let me by. What happens if I get caught? The guards won't recognize me? This seems excessive. The guards can't just let me by? We know. <laughs> Defeats the whole practice of, of this, huh? But let's hear him out. Directive Theta requires utmost secrecy for success. We don't know what connections the Mole may have, so we can't risk informing our security team. How do we know that Nyx also isn't connected? Right? If it is Ularu. What happens if I get caught? If you get caught, the guards will follow standard procedure and lock you up in a cell for questioning. Provided you don't provoke them. And I strongly advise against provoking them. These are your fellow employees. We want this to go as smoothly as possible. Okay. Hold up. Say that first part again. If you get again. caught, the guards will follow standard procedure. Right, okay. Provided you don't provoke them. These okay, are your okay. The security guards won't recognize me? We employ over 100 members of our security team who rotate floors and shifts. It's possible you'll be recognized, but even so, my orders will be strict. Authorized security personnel only. And you certainly won't qualify, making you an immediate suspect. Yeah, I just... I automatically assume that if I regularly see someone and... Like, I'm just going about my day leisurely or whatever, but this person who I see regularly, they are at work? I assume that they do not recognize me, right? I, like, if they do recognize me and they're like, hey, I remember you, that, cool, great. 
But I assume, I, I operate under the assumption, like, I, I don't know, like, if I see someone, like, I'm going to the grocery and I'm getting, like, some meat at the deli or whatever, or, like, I'm going to, uh, the checkout or whatever, and I see someone working there, who I don't know personally, but I see them a lot, right? I will assume that they, they will, you would I, I've blended in to their day, right? Like, I am just another face, like, who is just a, a nameless customer, you know? <laughs> I, I never assume that anybody knows who I am ever, <laughs> especially when they are at work. Okay, because certainly if the tables were turned, I would not recognize anyone. Everyone would become sort of a blur unless I work with a very small amount of people. But if, like, dozens or hundreds of people are coming and going in front of my very eyes on a day-to-day -day basis, I ain't got no. I ain't gonna recognize anybody. All right. Sure. Well, I'm looking forward to infiltrating my own place of work. At least one of us is. In the meantime, I'll ensure all non-essential employees, Ularu included, have left the building, claiming routine security maintenance. During I mean, it that is time, routine or er, security I'll be maintenance, just not routine. Access to the tower's ventilation system, which you can utilize to help avoid detection. I'm also issuing you a disruptor, which should help in avoiding casualties should a worst-case scenario turn up. God! <laughs> I'll be careful, don't worry. I can't guarantee anyone's safety. They better stay out of my way. What's a disruptor? How is Ularu not going to be suspicious? Security maintenance, really? What's a disruptor? It concerns me that you don't know. A disruptor is a non-lethal weapon. Our subsidiary, Arboron, makes an excellent one that I'll be issuing you. It will stun your target, giving you a chance to get away. But you'll only have so much time before the effects wear off. How is Ularu not going to be suspicious? Ularu doesn't know about Directive Theta. But she'll fully expect a building closure while we investigate. As far as she knows, it's standard procedure. One that she no doubt has already made accommodations for. This is why we're bringing in a third party. She won't be expecting to go up against Neon's best. And it's also why secrecy is of utmost importance. Not even our own security detail can know, in case the information leaks. Okay. Well, I'll be careful. Good. No one can know about this, not even our own guards. So stealth will be of utmost importance. You'll meet Nyx at Madame Sauvage's place. He knows Directive Theta has been enacted. <laughs> Stealth. <laughs> I, I feel like it, <laughs> he ought to have said, like, uh, discretion, right? Try to be as discreet as possible, rather than, yeah, make sure you're stealthy. <laughs> I feel like not many people just regularly say, S be stealthy, or whatever, right? <laughs> <laughs> Not unless you're in some sort of, like, military outfit, or you play video games, you know? <laughs> I feel like there are a million other ways, like, try not to, try not to upset, disturb the peace or whatever, right? I don't think I've ever heard a regular person just say, like, yeah, be stealthy. <laughs> okay. Let's head on out here. Back to the lobby. Good. I guess maybe we should have Hadrian wait out here. Right? Or we could... Yeah, you know what? We'll have Hadrian wait out here. Actually, maybe we'll have Hadrian wait somewhere else, just in case, like... This is something that's... Something bad that's gonna happen here. Okay. Hadrian, wait outside of the Trade Authority. Or inside for me. That's a good idea. Did you actually give me that disruptor, by the way? I don't think I have one on me. Yeah, there we are. Okay. Yeah, what? Need a hand with something? Wait here a moment. Right. Okay. My now, mother. let's head on out over here. Right. 
Great. Head on through here. Jeez. Okay. Sometimes loading into parts of Neon takes a significant chunk of time. Alrighty. Then over here. <laughs> Our little slide is so, so wild. <laughs> okay. Hopefully they bring back the slide for, like, they have slide tech. Put it in Elder Scrolls 6, but make it to where you can, like, you know, magic it up a little bit, right? Let's let's get some magic going where we can slide a bit longer or whatever. <laughs> we can go underneath stuff real quick. Some, something a little cooler. I'll never leave Neon. For someone in my business, there's no better place. Okay, Nyx, let's do You've it. You got an appointment? Because if not, consider this area reserved. Oh my god, what a dickhead. Alright, I'm here on Ryujin's behalf for Directive Theta. Dalton Finnis sent me, so let's cut the crap and get down to business. You conduct business out of a bar? Only when I meet someone for the first time. I like to meet strangers in public for safety reasons. I'm sure you get it, so why not in my favorite bar? Yeah, okay, Mr. Robot. Sure, Dalton sent me, so let's cut the crap and get down to business. Wow, nice to meet you, too. Good thing you aren't with marketing. I've written up a program just for the occasion. But as Ryujin knows, it's yours for either a price or a favor. Okay. Wow. Well, I'm kind of into doing favors, right? I like doing extra stuff. If I have to pay you, why didn't Dalton say anything about credits? And should he? Nothing's for free, you know. Cost is a given. I'm pretty sure that price is negotiable. Fine, here's your money. I'll be back. I just need to look into some funds. Let's hear that favor. While you're snooping around in the tower, I just need you to hit up one more workstation on the way. It's Camden Cho's. Just run the same program on the slate I'll give you, and you're good. It's that simple. No problem. Just a quick stop along the way. I don't think so. I'm here for Ryujin, not against it. What do you plan on doing with that information? What's the significance of Camden Cho? Why Camden? That's between me and another client. But you can bet if someone wants something in old Camden, it's not because they like him. What do you plan on doing with the info? Let's just say it's nothing beyond something that Ryujin would do to anyone else. Huh. I don't think so. I'm here for Ryujin, not against it. Suit yourself. So why don't we get back to that payment? Okay. Let's negotiate. Oh, I'm pretty sure it's not. I know you'd like to help me- Oh, these, these again. Just help me out here! Can't you cut me a break here? Can't you cut me a break? <laughs> a break in neon? I don't think so. I thought everyone- everything was negotiable in neon. Well, now that depends on a lot of things. <laughs> that convinced him. He was like, well, you know what? You're right. Everything is actually negotiable. On you got me with that one. <laughs> All right. I knew you'd like to help me if you could. Shit! Sorry, but I can't. Now pay up. I don't have all day. Yeah, I'm not going to do the favor now that... Because uh, what if the other client is the mole, right? What if the client is also the mole? <laughs> All right, here's your money. A pleasure, as always. Your job is simple. Just run this little beauty on Ilaro Chen's computer, and the program will take care of the rest. Once you're done, bring the slate back to me at my place. Whatever encryption Ilaro has is bound to take some real work, more than my little setup here can handle. Security. Good. I wouldn't trust the security here anyway. Alright, I'll meet you back at your place when I get the data. I'm always getting stuck with the grunt work. Good. I wouldn't trust the security here anyway. It's nice to see you know more than just sneaking around and talking a good game. Here's the slate. I'll be waiting. Come on, am I talking a good game or am I definitely not Nothing with marketing? Like the velocity after a rough shift in Xeno. Makes you forget right. how bad you stay. 
let's see. Make sure we're tracking it. Okay, good. Very well. We'll sneak into our own base of operations. We've already... <laughs> right, like... By virtue of being also a little weasel who likes to sneak into shit and, like, look through, sh like, all sorts of junk everywhere, we've kind of already seemingly looked at a bunch of the sneaky little areas, too. Also, really wild that it's taking me here, huh? Alright. Sure. I mean, I'll, I'll do it. I'm guessing they very intentionally put this here. These stairs going way up. Oh. Button. Okay. Oh, man, that's awesome. Holy shit. More stuff like that. Oh, I love that. Okay. Oh, fuck. Okay. Jesus, someone's power leveling their destruction. Also, you know what? This whole time, I had no idea that that was Ryujin Tower. <laughs> Zero wire. Good. Guess we don't need to sneak out here. This is very Deus Ex, huh? Is there a reason to go up further? God, I think there is? Huh. Yeah, I could enter here, but I think I can go even higher up. Look at that. It looks like there's more, I, more to it. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe I'm tripping. I would love it if there were an yet another, like, alternate entry point, but I don't think so. Yeah, I think that's it. Oh, shit. Got a sprain. I don't think there's any getting in there. Okay. The spring doesn't reduce my, like, stealth or whatever, does it? Status. Sneaking uses O2. Oh, shit. Okay. It does make me worse at sneaking. Well, let's take a drug. Oh, immobilizers. Probably just want a regular one, though. Great. Oh, you know what? Immobilizer! I get it. Because it's like a cast. It's like a spray-on cast. Is that the idea? It prevents the parts from moving. You spray it, and then all of the loose parts, like a, if you broke a limb or whatever, or dislocated it, it sticks it back in place and keeps it from, like, shaking around. Is that the thinking? Okay, good. Oh, what'd that say? You currently something. Went by too quick. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, yeah, we're back in this area now. Right, there's that door. It's partly, yeah, open. Okay. Sure. Currently trespassing. Residents will become hostile. Gotcha. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's head on up here. Should we take the lubricant? Why not, right? Okay. 
Okay. Panel door. Power down floor lights. Good. You'd think that would cause a stir among the security, right? I mean, obviously none of the employees are here, but security is, huh? Let's do some corner peeking. Oh, shit. Okay. Well. Oh, dear. Okay. <laughs> okay, we're fine, we're fine. Feel like I'm gonna get seen right as I go by here. This- my disruptor can't, like, one-shot them, can it? I don't think so. Should I try it? Alright, I think we can get by without using it. So this is just a test. If I disrupt shot with a headshot. Oh shit. Oh, it one shots. Okay. Well, we did go into caution mode, so it couldn't have been that good. Good to know. Just a test, just to make sure. I'm surprised there's no, like, sneak takedown or whatever, right? Like, we're feeling so very deus ex right now. I feel feel like we should have, like, a silent takedown maneuver. Okay. Over here. Good. Good God, man. We gotta go into this. Okay. Do some corner peeking again. a little robot lord drone demo okay can I somehow use this to distract them is that the thinking here welcome to drone we invite customers to try out our demo to see our robots in action there we go yeah yeah go do it do it Okay, got a little bit of incidental dialogue. Man, this is daring going up the staircase. It's like a choke point for security. Okay. Good. Sure. Over here. Oh shit, dude. Okay. But what we need is on the higher up floor. No guards posted here at this choke point. That's wild. Okay. I'm worried about popping that door open and there just being a dude in there. You know what else is really wild? We have these drones. How is there no automated security? Not even just drones, but security cameras. What are we doing? What a gaping hole in our vulnerabilities. Oh, shit. Oh! They see me? No. Okay. Uh-oh. 
Okay. <laughs> oh shit, is there nothing in here? Oh yeah, there is. Okay. Shut this. Nice. Okay. Let's get this thing shut again. Power down the lights again. Why not? What are these? These seem dangerous. Seems like these are going to shoot out lasers at me or something. The ambient sound effects are really good. Where does this pop us out at? Bathroom? Yeah. Cool. Okay. Shut that. Good. Continue over here. Are we gonna overhear someone talking? Really? It's such a video game trope when you see an open one of these, he overhears some kind of weird conversation, right? The restraint on display. Turn on our light. It's incredibly dark here. Is there actually something up here? What are these? These look like CPU mounts. Whoa. Go down here? Oh. Huh, I guess we could have skipped that floor then. The, uh, or not the floor, the, the stairs. My bad. I mean, I guess we would have skipped the security check floor. That said, maybe that wasn't steep enough? I don't know. Okay. Let's turn off our light. Mind you, we could use our, like, what's it called? Our detect life ability. Oh, look. Free chunks. Hell yeah. Chunks, chunks, chunks. Okay. Good. So much darker on this floor relative to the other one. I cannot get over how how Deus Ex this feels right now. Even the music. Oh shit! Are we good? Are we good? <laughs> oh my god. How did you not get me? You fucking fool. <laughs> okay. Okay. And then we'll follow them back on their patrol. Perfect. It looks like we have to go inside of this room, huh? Oh, unless they patrol even further out. Well, it seems as if they do. Though I can get in here if I want. Okay. Oh, Camden's computer. Workspace. Let's hack it. Let's just see what's going on. Okay. Like that. And like that. Announcements. Andy of Hala. PTO. This is your quarterly reminder to be aware of your PTO. Per policy, your PTO does not get does not roll over or get paid out at the end of the year. It is your responsibility to use this time wisely before it expires. The PTO policy is non-negotiable, 
Any questions or concerns may be directed to Carlo Vaughn. Andy, Human Resources Manager, Ryujin Industries. Andy Apala, Privacy Policies. Effective immediately, we're making the following adjustments to our policy regarding social interactions with news media. Only approved marketing employees may issue public statements regarding any aspect of the corporation. Any contact from a news media outlet must be reported to marketing immediately. Approvals for news media interaction must be sent to Genevieve, or Genevieve Monah Mo Mohohan, uh, Carlo Vaughn, Alexis Price, and Dalton Fiennes. Finis. Failure to follow these guidelines may result in immediate termination. Andy, Human Resources Manager, Ryujin Industries. Shania Obram? Is that it? We'll be performing routine security maintenance tomorrow. During this time, Ryujin Tower will be closed. Only approved security personnel will be allowed in the building. All managers have been notified and schedule adjustments will be made. Shania Obram, Network Security, Ryujin Industries. Messages? Yuko Serrano. Supply request. Hey, Cam. I know you liked... You like people to go through the proper channels, but I really need a new computer set up for Tomo's old station. Dalton's already secured his current one, and we're looking to hire someone new ASAP. I'm hoping you can expedite this for your fellow peer, Yuko. Ularu Chen, recent complaint. Camden, it's been brought to my attention yet again that you're being too vocal with your opinions on Neon's administrator. Please keep in mind that we have several people working here with ties to Bayou, and things said in this office in the office often find their way back to him. You know the importance of our relationship, and I expect you to respond professionally whenever business may be associated with him. Ularu Chen, COO, Ryujin Industries. Shipment confirmations, also from Ularu. Camden, I need the confirmation numbers for a series of shipments. Order number 45832, Arboron Nova Series, two dozen Nova Blast, four dozen Nova Light. Uh, some audio slates, two crates, Neurotac Mark IV, four units, Ularu Chen. Okay. Sure. Maybe, maybe the mysterious uh, person who's involved there is Bayou? <gasps> oh my god! Oh security. shit! <laughs> no set of moves. Hey, can we work this out? I just left something here. Nice try, but the building is off limits. You sure didn't get in by any authorized means. There's no reason for us to have a problem, is there? What's the problem here? Come on. Look, everything's fine. Nothing to worry about. Everything's fine. I'll be the judge of that. What's the problem here? Come on. I'm the one asking the questions here. Uh-oh. <laughs> I'm going to burn my auto-persuade. Hey, hey. I'm just trying to be careful here. For once, I finally used it. All right. Sorry, I'm new. Probably haven't met yet. Yeah. Yeah, I remember now. Look, I'll trust you. But if any of us catch you on another floor, we'll shoot first and ask questions later. Okay, good. Yeah, look at me. I'm very trustworthy sneaking over in the corner like this. <laughs> okay, great. <laughs> I'm so trustworthy. <laughs> I'm like a little fucking goblin. <laughs> okay. Good. And then... We go through here. Oh shit, how do I shut it? Fuck, I don't know. Okay. Fine. Up. Up we go! Whoa, look at this. Why is it all padded here? Is this normal? Almost looks like gigantic plastic explosives. <laughs> right? It's enough to blow the whole building apart. Okay. Head on up this way. 
good. Oh, up here. Oh, can we overhear something this time? Really? Come on. What are we doing? There's no one talking about, like, this being their last week till retirement or whatever? Shit. Okay. Oh, let's go into this safe real quick. There we are. Good, and then... Get that. Perfect. Chunks Employee Handbook. Okay, we'll leave that there. A manifold. Some ammo. Okay, we'll quick save after that. Got some security right there. Oh, they're patrolling. Okay. Ooh! Is there security right on the other side, too? No. How are they seeing me, then? Oh, shit, there is. Okay. I might be able to sneak right by him, though. And back into this. Who oh, shut it? Okay. <laughs> All right. Good. Where the fuck am I, dude? Oh. What's this do? Another panel door to hack into. Oh, fuck. Okay, there we go. Whew! Oh, here we are. I'm assuming we're getting closer. I don't actually know. But I, I feel like we might be. Hopefully this is another maintenance room. Oh, shit. Oh my gosh, there's a security robo-lord. Where the fuck am I? Okay. <laughs> Do I go left or right? It wants me to go right. What the hell was that? Whoa, shit! Oh my gosh. Uh oh. Okay, let's quick load it. <laughs> let's quick load it. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Holy shit! Yeah, that dude was there the whole whole way through. Okay, fuck it. Let's use our special power. Oh my god. How am I to get through all this? Sounds like that robot is looping back around too. Am I really meant to just shoot them? Oh, there we go. Okay. Fuck it, let's try it now. Oh. There's our opening. 
<laughs> oh fuck, they can hear my little bullshit. Jetpack reveals myself? Shit. Okay, 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 we can do it. We can do it. All right. Sure. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Did the robot turn around? Or was it the human? It may have been the human. Okay. Let's try it this way. What if we go into this room? Right, what if the key is in here? <laughs> what if this is the secret? Oh shit, I think this is where I just came in from. Right, isn't that where I came in from? Yeah, there's a dude right there. Oh, fuck! Okay. Oh, gosh. By the time I get back here, the Robo Lord's gonna patrol back around. <gasps> oh. Does it go out there? No. Can I just shoot it? Uh oh. That work? No. <laughs> no, it didn't work. It didn't work. Okay. Okay. Wow, it's like we're actually playing a stealth game for real. Okay. Let's try on through this, like so. Good. Okay, and we can't climb on top of anything because we'll break stealth. So I do actually have to, like, navigate this room up there to that little unit. Okay. Well, let's give it a shot. What the hell was that? Uh-oh. God. <laughs> all right, all right. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. No problem. We can get this easy. Okay. Sneaking over here. Sneaking over there. Oh, shit. The hell was that? They don't see me. They don't see me. They don't see me! Uh, they don't see me! I will investigate. <gasps> Fuck off, Robo Lord! Fuck off, Robo Lord! Huh? Oh what shit! Oh <laughs> fuck! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh, this game fucking rocks. Okay. Alright. Let's see, right here, like this. So maybe we should wait right here because we know they're going to come out very soon. Or I guess I could try and just go up here like this. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Holy fuck, I did it. I just had to go over. Oh, why, why won't my camera go up? Okay, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. <laughs> we're fine. <laughs> Fine. Oh my god. What the hell was that? Shit, fuck off, fuck off. Oh god. Okay. Was that? I swear I heard something. Nope. Getting jumpy. What? 
don't move and they won't know. They won't know. They won't know. We're clear. We're clear. God, what the fuck? <laughs> okay, okay, great. <laughs> Holy shit! This is not easy as a low stealth perk character, right? Jeez, and Pete. Okay. Oh, I get to jump around the rafters and shit? Is that what's up here? Yeah. Okay. Right, the cum falls. Okay, I can go over here. Yeah, check this shit out. Sneaking up here across the rafters. Look at that big old beef jerky looking dragon. Okay. Cool. All right, we're we've nearly made it. Holy hell. How do we exfiltrate this? Are we going to have to run all the way back through all that again? Okay. Flick the, the lights off here. Oh dear, okay. Let's see what we got. Let's try that. Uh oh, that was a bad one to try. Okay, undo. Oh, okay. Let's try this. I actually need to plot it out, I think. So if I go there... Then I can do that. That feels like that's it. There we are. Okay... Oops. Right there. Cool. Power down the lights. Good. Uh oh. There's security right there, but they're turning the other way. We'll quick save just in case they turn around as soon as I enter here. Okay. Oh, yep. Just barely got it. Cool. And then the computer. Rover. Okay, yeah. User unknown, fetch, executing program, locating drives, drives located, three standard, five encrypted, eight in total. Deconstructing, net security blocks, deconstructing complete, 10 out of 10. Accessing drives, copying files, copy complete, copy complete. Purging history, purge complete. Workspace. A master lock, okay. Dear God. Okay, let's eliminate unused keys. First. Okay, we can try this. Put that there. Huh. 
Huh. We can't use this one. Okay, we can do that. And that lets us place this one up there. Okay. And then... This one right here. Cool. Nailed it! Announcements? Oh. This is the same shit. I mean, I guess, true enough, they're announcements. Okay. Messages. Unknown delivery. My dear Ularu, I believe I have a package of great importance that belongs to you. Shall we arrange for a pickup? S. What? Who could that be? Yuko Serrano. Tomo Higashi. Oh, more about Tomo. Hey, Olaru. I was able to confirm that Tomo Higashi did not have adequate supporting data for his last report. It looks like he built his own theory off a handful of observations and what he claims as experience. Good thing Imogene rejected it, right? That's his third offense. So Imogene and I both agree to recommend him for termination. I know you like to do the honors. Yuko. Wow, so it wasn't even that wild. He just fucked up three times. Okay. It wasn't like he learned some forbidden information or whatever. Or dug too deep. Camden chose shipment confirmations. Here are the confirmation numbers he wanted for the following shipments. 29, 47, 39. Oh, wait. Yeah, this was on Camden's computer. Oliver Saito, lunch. Dear Olaru. Oh, Saito. Oh, S must be one of the, the Saito people, right? The former owners of the company. Oh, shit. Dear Ularu, I wanted to personally apologize for my brother's behavior over dinner the other night. I believe he still harbors ill will toward Ms. Amada, and as you know, his mind simply isn't what it used to be. I know he rejected your offer of a medical neuroamp to help with his clarity, but I will keep trying to change his mind. Although our last dinner together was an exception, he truly does enjoy seeing you. Your admiration and respect for him instantly bring back the man I once knew. I hope you will still see us in the future. Best, Oliver. Oh, a medical neuroamp for clarity, I see. I wonder if it's like... Um, Alzheimer's. Huh. That is fascinating. Okay. Yeah, if she likes... What's his name? The other Saito brother. I forget. The founder. Or if she admires. That totally gives her a great motive to... Well, I don't know. Why would she sell out the secrets then? Right? Why would she be getting them out there to other companies if she likes the company herself? Huh. Yeah, why would she do that? Unless she's like trying to implicate... Because if this guy, yeah, I believe he still harbors ill will toward Ms. Amada. If she likes him so much, she's trying to somehow implicate Ms. Amada, the current CEO of Ryujin, as being, like, negligent. Or potentially being the mole herself. Then remove her and either seize control, Ularu seize control herself of the CEO position of the company... Or get, um, what's his name, I something Sato back in the company. That makes the most sense. Okay. Sure. Definitely, like, although that is like a wild ass theory, what is 100% beyond certain is that the mole must be Ularu, right? Like, it's gotta be. With how much... Like, we don't... I guess we don't know for certain, certain, do we? 
right? This doesn't really prove anything. Unless the data that we got off of there does, like, prove out something. Okay. Let's see here. It, it seems as though Ularu is the culprit, though. Okay, extended mag breach. Eh, I mean, it's kind of valuable. I'll take it on, on those grounds. And the ammo, of course. Oh, look. Is there actually, like, a fast exit? For real. I do wish that, like, using your boost pack maintains stealth. We're definitely getting in trouble a lot for that. Look at all these things. Can we get to the CEO's office and computer? Can I, like, look at Amada's? I wouldn't mind doing that just for more information. Oh, look, no, it cuts off here. Dead end. I think we're safe to just walk around up here. Yeah, this goes outside, I think. Yeah. Okay. So where's this go to? Oh, the boardroom. Okay. Sure. The ceiling is so high in the boardroom, too. You'd really need, like, advanced or upgraded jetpack use to get through there. Okay, where do we pop out at? It's got to be higher up on the building, huh? Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. Oh, look, there's woot loot out here. Anti-ballistic ecliptic skip pack. Wow, 15% less damage from ranged. Still, it's nothing compared to... Sturdy, fastened, and armor-plated, right? Let's see. Yeah... Our current is just too good. Okay, I'll take the money. Good. Anything else fun up here? More picks. Refined side star. Bunch of ammo. Actually, a whole bunch of ammo right there for real. A whole bunch of guns melded together. Whoa. The super ultimate handgun. Four handguns in one. Brand new technology, courtesy of Ryujin Industries. Okay. Anything else out here? Whoa. Yeah, this was really cool. It reminds me of, um, the one mission from the core, like, main story. Wherein we had to go to Slayton's. Can I actually climb all the way up here? It might be doable. Shit. I don't know. Maybe not. Oh, I don't think so. Not for us. Though maybe on this side? Oh yeah, maybe. Let's do a quick save here. Curious if there's collisions with or collision with this. If there is, we can get up. Holy shit, we can get up. Do you think there might be a uh, what do you call it up here? A snow globe or whatever?
Okay. I'm assuming that tower is... Right, that's... Yeah, that's the other end of town. That would be Benjamin Bayou's tower. Right? I sort of like the... The ideal design here that we've got going on. Where... They seem to be two of these, like... Mega corporations that are diametrically opposed to one another. Ryujin and... Bayou. Okay. Can I get up this? Yes, I can. Oh. Okay. There's not collision with the middle rung. Oh, fuck! Oh, I might not be able to get up. Okay. Holy shit. Maybe I will be able to. Oh my gosh, I fucked up the run jump. Oh, I fucked it up. All right, let's reload that real quick. Hang on. I think we can make it. I think we can get all the way to the top. Okay. There we are. Should I go for that little unit right there, or should I go for that? Oh, fuck. Okay. Well, that's not good. Huh. I don't think I can jump here. Let's reload this. Let's see. Can I just jump? Yeah, I can't jump. I'm pressing spacebar to jump, and I can't. Okay. Fuck. Oh, fuck. No! Shit. Is there another way up? No, I don't think so. I think it's that or bust. Huh. We can try it still. Let's give it a shot. I don't think we're going to be able to make it to the tippy top. See, if only I could jump right now. Maybe if I crouch now. Oh, no. No dice. Okay. Fair enough. Very well. Oh, fuck. Well, at least we need to take fall damage. <laughs> right? That works out. Hey, maybe we should do that a few more times and level up our gymnastics, right? I guess we could. There we go. <laughs> Easy enough. Okay. Well, I suppose when next we come back, we can turn in this quest. Right? It was hard fought, and we certainly had to save Scum a few times, but you know what? Hey. What's a, what's a stealth mission if not a little save scumming, right? What's a stealth game if not uh, a little bit of that too? <laughs> what's, what's a Deus Ex game if not a little bit of reloading a quick save in the middle of exploring a, an area when your stealth isn't maxed out? All right. When next we come back, we're going to check back in with Ryujin. We're going to have all this stuff, I guess, looked at. It definitely seems like Ularu is the mole, but like I said, we don't know for 100% certain. All right. Until next time, please take care of each other.